Hey everyone! Welcome back to some more Let's Play Unreal 2! In the last episode, we were successful at our expedition to... Well, on hell. <laughs> we had a... I suppose you could say, we had a hell of a time down there. We discovered that the... Leandri? No, the Axon scientists were doing experiments with a artifact similar to the one we found back on Sanctuary. They were exposing creatures to it after running some sort of beam through the device. And they had created some gigantic, aggressive, mutant spiders. We eliminated all of the spider soldiers their offspring, and then found some sort of queen-like creature and eliminated it as well, and we covered the artifact. And I suppose we are now bringing it back with us in our ship, or we, we have just gotten it and returned it to, and are returning to our ship with it or have just returned. It's actually been close to a week since I last played the game, so I'm a bit fuzzy on if we still have it or not. But uh, yes, we won. That was a good amount of fun. Uh, I really enjoy using the weapons in this game. I love the flamethrower. Hopefully, we will continue to be able to use these weapons in the future. I think Isaac will probably give us a lowdown on our loadout. And I, and I think the game is going to wait for me to cut the recording before it l jumps into it. So, give me a second. Yep, sure enough, that's what it did. Oh, hello, Ada. So, I totally forget <laughs> whatever it was she talked to us about. I have no... Memory of it. You do not change based on the opinion in her head, or do her thoughts affect your molecules at a quantum level? No, no, it's not like that. She treats me like scum. And are you scum? A long time ago, maybe. But not now. So she is wrong. You should tell her so. Unless you are authority, Marshall said she has a problem with authority. Interesting. We can l listen in on the conversations that our crew is having. I forgot th that that would even happen. I think we will go ahead and, and talk with our crew first. Hey, Nabon. I am very confusing. What are you confused about? All these corporations, mercenary forces, Alien races. I am mixing them over. Can't tell the players without a program, eh? Okay, let me give you some quick background on each of them. Oh, this is pretty awesome! So we can actually find out about the lore of these different organizations in conversation. This is a nice touch. I, I'm really impressed with what they've done here in Unreal 2. At least in regards to trying to make the game bring you into the world. Beyond just showing you how fun the fighting could be if you use this this game engine, for example, I like this. So let's learn about the different corporations at, uh, that we've seen so far first. The Leandri Corporation is a heavy industrial and mining combine with installations on dozens of planets. They defend their interests with an army of genetically engineered female warriors who have been raised since birth to be fighters. The Leandri Angels are cold, dispassionate, and highly efficient. They're among the elite of industrial mercenary forces. Okay, so we're mostly going to give them the lowdown on the combat potential of these corporations. What kind of mercs they use, how efficient their guards or soldiers are, and stuff like that, I would guess. Axon is on our side. They're a private company who works hand-in-hand -hand with our military to research and develop new weapons. As Earth expands in this sector of space, different corporations are establishing colonies on uninhabited planets. They do everything from creating vacation resorts to mining exotic ores to terraforming. We and the Terran Colonial Authority patrol between the planets to keep the peace. The corporations try to get away with a lot out here, and they hire mercenary forces to help them get their way. We often find ourselves fighting the mercs to defend civilians who work for their own corporation. If we run into something we can't take on alone, we call in the Marines. I don't know how efficient the TCA is. I'm, I'm assuming that it's more than just a handful of vessels. There must be like a fleet of us out there somewhere to keep the peace. Because if it's just like, if it's just like five different ships, for example, patrolling all these planets, 
and each ship has like one person on it that they can send them to the planet's surface. I, I don't know if this is if this is going to work so well. I'll get the impression that we are one among many soldiers working for the TCA. And perhaps we're scattered all over the galaxy patrolling different planets. That might, that might explain why we, like, we're not, probably not going to run into any other TCA people out here as well. Maybe we also put together this ragtag group of... Uh, our crew, a ragtag crew, and... We, I know that we want to join the Marines, but we're still being refused. And so we still have, our crew has signed up with the TCA to get some sort of payment. And the TCA approved of our ship and our crew to do the work that's required. As opposed to us being like on a planet's surface, signing up and then being given this ship and the crew through that organization. Yeah, we probably put this together ourselves is my guess. The Izanagi is a broad-based conglomerate modeled on the ancient Japanese Kuritsu. They're into whatever makes money, and they protect themselves with an elite core of Merc soldiers fanatically loyal to the corporation who call themselves Ghost Warriors. Since we're learning about the Izagani Corporation, I'm assuming that we'll be doing a job for them in this mission coming up. The Scar are a power-hungry race who have been trying to expand into this sector of space. Normally, their highly tribal social structure prevents them from working together. But recently, we've seen unusual examples of cooperation between the clans, which can only spell trouble for us. Their warriors are all highly independent, intelligent, and very dangerous fighters. Yeah, we've learned that they are extremely dangerous in the first Unreal. They have, I believe, superior technology to what humans were using in the time of the original Unreal as well. Um, but again, their clan composition prohibited them from actually being able to bring the full brunt of their forces to bear thanks to infighting amongst the different queens. I think you could, you could consider them like orcs from 40k. Only, they're also somewhat all-intelligent. They're not just stupid. And they're... Uh, they all work this way, because I think they all... It's similar to, like, an insect hive, although they don't look like they're insects. But they spawn from eggs, and those eggs are, hatch, are, are placed there by a queen. So I'm assuming the queen selects which egg will grow to be what she needs. And they have a certain amount of intelligence when they are spawned as well. They are not a known aggressor race, and they're not indigenous to hell. We think they're just creatures who were imported from off-planet to the labs, and then mutated under the influence of the energy beam and the artifact. All right, I, I, that was the arachnids I asked about. I thought we, um, I thought we actually would say a little bit more about it. Let's talk about the Azarians, the slave race that we encountered working for the Scar. The Azarians are borderline psychotic aliens who seem to live to fight. They had conquered a small area of space and subjugated a few minor races. Then they ran into the Scar and became slaves themselves. With their sadomasochistic tendencies, we're not at all sure they mind. I really like that the designers gave them the hyena laughs uh, as well and, and uh, cries when you're engaging them in combat. It makes them feel a little more alien since I don't, I have no hyenas living in the swamps of South Jersey here. And so it's uh, quite different to hear them uh, yelping and uh, screaming and what have you. It's, it's fun to fight them. Let's ask about the final one, the Kai. The Kai are an old semi-nomadic race that has spread from planet to planet taking a keen interest in the archaeology, folklore, and traditions of each. They stay on the fringes of society, however, and make their way by performing menial tasks wherever they go. I suspect those are the, uh, the three-legged bipedal creatures that we are encountering from time to time. There was one with the Marines on the very first planet when we talked to the officer to get to see if we had been accepted by the Marines. And we saw a dead body down on in Hell's lab as well. Take care on the bottom. Good talking to you about that sort of stuff. And we saw... Oh, one second. Here we go. So, the FOV is normally 100 on the planet's surface, but when you're up here on the ship, it puts it back to 90. 
you have to, if you if you want to do what I'm doing while you're on the ship, if you pick, decide to pick up the game or what have you, then you will need to... Oh, oh, this must be my room. It is my room. Hey, nice. We put we take pictures of the places we've been on. Oh, that's so cool for all the missions that we, that we did. So, what was I just talking about? <laughs> oh, the FOV. So, uh, you have to install a mod so that you can access the command prompt uh, first. And then you can just type again, set FOV, that's all in one word, space, oh, or is it equals? Set OV, I think, I think it's space, and then 100, and that will fix the FOV for you. At least if you're running it on a widescreen monitor like I am. There's our marine outfit, but I, I can still hear us clanking. So I still suspect we're wearing another one. This used to be spare parts. In case our, our outfit gets uh, damaged. Looks like we were a member of another armed force at some point. Judging from the clothes we have in our locker. John Dalton. We have a medal of some sort. And yet again, more clothes. We're very proud of our military service. As you should be if you if you're going if you join the military. Oh nice, look at this everyone. Hostile organisms. Arachnids, Azarians, and Scar. From our time on uh, that would be at one with us to That's the that's not sanctuary, that was where we first landed and then we left the place and we refused entry into the marine. There's the Sanctuary Mining Facility, the Jungle on Sanctuary, and the Lab on Hell. Looks like we're pretty accurate with our weapon as well, judging from the target, uh, the target dummy. I'm sorry, target. Whatchamacallit. <laughs> That's over there. Oh! Hey! Here's the Bonds room. Let's, let's take a look at what he's got really quick in here. Greatest sitcoms of the 20th century. <laughs> Patterson's Complete Comprehensive presents... Okay, so he's sitting down watching everything he can about human humor. I have not watched television, everyone. Like a sitcom since before 9-11. Around the year 2000, I began, my intake of what was on television began to rapidly drop as I began to spend more and more time on the internet. And I discovered uh, YouTube. Oh, in 2003, 2002, something like that. I think YouTube was, was out, uh, was out uh, around then. Quite different than it is now, of course. Well, not I mean that quite different, but different enough. And once I realized that I could watch whatever I wanted, and in particular video games, which is something I've always wanted just to watch people play, I stopped watching TV altogether. Hello, Isaac. Damn, I thought I fixed that. Damn, I thought I fixed that. Okay, he's not nothing to talk to us about. I still want to start watching some of the series I've picked up or finished them. I, ha I don't have very many of them here. I have yet to finish all of the Lord of the Rings director cuts. Uh, I've watched the the first one, Lord of the, Lord of the Rings. The second one, <coughs> Tale of Two Towers, but I haven't watched the third, Return of the King, the director's cut at least. I've read the, I've read the book, obviously, ages ago, back when I was in co uh, college in, two th in uh, 2000, 1998, I think. It was a good year. Oh, this is where Isaac's going to do his loadout. Okay. All right, that's enough babbling. Let's go ahead and get the mission started. Hello, Ada. Do you want to activate the hyperlink with the sector commander? Oh, I forgot about that. Fire it up. Go ahead and use this keyboard. Once you're hooked up, I'll wait by the door to give you the illusion of privacy. <laughs> Thanks, Ada. Which keyboard is it? Good work recovering the artifact, John. Let me give you some history. 
A little over a year ago, our Axon Corporation discovered two of these artifacts and set up labs on Hell and Janus to study them. What do these things do? No one knows. We know they're virtually indestructible, and that they emit energy in a way we haven't begun to understand. How many of them are there? Seven. Buried on different planets for millions of years. Unfortunately, the Izanagi and Leandri corporations caught on, and have started massive hunts on their own. How do the Scar fit in? They know we want them, so they want them too. So what comes next? You may yet get your wish, John. General Drexler is temporarily recommissioning your ship as a Marine Corvette. As of now, you and your crew are all temporarily restored to your former ranks. Will it be permanent? Perhaps. I've been breveted to the Marines as well, and your orders will come through me. Afterwards, I'll go back to the TCA, but you might be in for good. I've already briefed Ida on your next destination. Good luck, John. And good hunting. You know, when I was really young, I remember when StarCraft was coming out, I made a series of, like, a fan posts and some fan fiction, because of course I do, because it's kind of cringy. But I wrote a character uh, similar to this guy, named uh, Jared Hiltman was his name. A, uh, a black guy who really wanted to rejoin the military after being um, honorably discharged for not agreeing with um, some sort of plan. I don't remember now, it's been many years since I wrote the story. But uh, I like I like this. I like the... Uh, I like the story, how it's unfolding. I really like the voice acting in particular for this game. They did, I think, an amazing job here on it. I'm I'm surprised at how much I'm enjoying this. Like, I, I knew I would like the gameplay, although I, I knew we would move kind of slow. Because I, I've beaten Unreal 2, it's been many, many decades, but I, I beat Unreal 2 ages ago. But I'm surprised at how good, this, the again, the voice acting was. They really... It sounds like they sat down and came up with a plan, like, an actually co comprehensive plot line for it. I, I very much like this. And again, the voice acting is really good for this, too. Hey, Ada. Yes? What do you think is going on? I've dealt with Drexler before. He's a weasel. Don't trust him. Well, we have no choice but to get the items anyway. It's not like we cannot... Uh, I don't think we'll be able to refuse an order from him, especially if he's our higher in command, unless we also want to lead the TCA. And now that we've been promoted to Marine again, that would explain, by the way, the medals and the outfits we have in our own cabin, um, it would look really bad for us to refuse to do a task for him anyway. You have to trust someone, Ida. That's how organization works. Otherwise, everything will just fall apart. Christ, would you listen to yourself? This is the military we're talking about. I'm telling you, it still comes down to people. Okay, so I, so this is interesting because I'm assuming this is John's default stance on the military. And Ida just doesn't trust him whatsoever. It That's good that you have someone on your ship that you trust and that you like working with who also disagrees with you on certain things. And possibly quite... Um, quite vehemently. I don't mean that in a malicious, evil way, but they are very steadfast and uh, believe in what they believe in and won't be budged on it very easily. It's nice to have someone to bounce ideas off of, um, politically or uh, what have you, who, again, is a, is a friend of yours, so this way you don't go too far down a, a certain path before you can be rescued. I, I find myself, I, I shouldn't talk about politics or something like that, but I do enjoy kind of being grounded in somewhat of, of the center in regards to politics. And it helps that I have friends on both sides of the political spectrum that I can talk to if I have my own thoughts on things or get their take on certain occurrences or things that are happening. I can't believe I'm back in. Don't get your hopes up. If they make this permanent, I'll eat a snipe. I don't want my old rank back, and Isaac doesn't deserve his. Drexler is just using you, John. Oh, that could be true, but we're promoted anyway, so... Has anyone deciphered the glyphs on the artifacts? Don't know, but you can bet they're trying. 
Now, what can you tell me about Asheron? Yes, I am looking for the donut. <laughs> Asheron is the strangest planet in the sector. It's a T-class world orbiting the star NC-867. What's interesting is that the surface of the planet is covered by a single gigantic organism that has breathing tubes the size of subway tunnels and spores as big as starships. The Izanagi Corporation has been methodically killing this creature as they terraform the planet. They've built a ring of giant chemical reactors to convert the atmosphere to Earth-standard oxygen-nitrogen levels, which the organism doesn't seem to tolerate. I've pulled some images from a marine scout probe. Days ago, all terraforming efforts stopped, and the Izanagi forces converged on a single dig site. We believe they have found an artifact and are about to take it off-world. We are cloaking in one day ahead of a marine attack force. Our mission is to gather intel only. Do not get close enough to be detected. Do not engage in combat. The station is guarded by Izanagi ghost warriors who have no love for us at all. Your dropship will land about here. You can take this road up to the facility, and from there, you'll be on your own. Be careful, John. I've asked Isaac to give you my pistol, Grace. She and I have been through a lot together, and I'd feel better knowing you have her down there to back you up. Isaac is ready for you, and Iban has some questions. If you haven't spoken with him yet, you can probably find him on the bridge. Good luck. Thank you, Ada. I don't remember what Grace is like at all, so hopefully Isaac can give us a... Oh, hey, here's the bond again. Can give us some information about that weapon. Okay, there's nothing else we, that we can talk with the bond about at the moment. I actually feel better if she kept her weapon on her, her sidearm. But we are, we're probably going to get at least, you know, every weapon that we've found so far, I think we get a copy of it for every mission that we go on. So it's not like we'll be short for weapons. It's just ammunition that we're running out of. I kind of wish there was like a monetary thing we would get that would allow me to purchase ammunition for my various weapons before I go down on a planet's surface. That would be kind of neat or something that let me upgrade the weapons that I had. But it's understandable why they didn't do uh, do so in this game. That's a, probably, that's a lot of work to code in something like that and then balance it. What's up, boss? I just got off the blower with the sector commander. We all just got our military ranks back. See, I don't know, John. Last time I was in uniform, it didn't turn out so good. Just ask Ida. That was a long time ago, Isaac. You've changed. You'll do better this time. We'll see. What do you know about the Ghost Warriors? Well trained. Some live by the old samurai code. Others are just in it for the action. So, you ready for some new weapons? Fire away. I'm tinkering with that arachnid biomass you found on Hell. I'm thinking I can make a weapon out of it. Anyway, I've added the flamethrower to your loadout, and I swapped with a buddy to get incendiary grenades for the launcher. Ida dropped off her magnum as well. I'm surprised she's willing to part with it. Take your pick. All right, let's learn about our new weaponry, shall we? Let's take a look at Grace. Ida has had her forever. She's a really sweet weapon. 50 caliber explosive ammunition. Very accurate and very powerful. Alt fire is a three round burst that takes a little longer to reload. Use her for medium range targets, when you're too far away for a shotgun, but too close for the sniper rifle. Anything else? God, 50 caliber rounds, oh god! That's quite a pistol. She's gonna be a, a, she is indeed a beauty. How does the incendiary grenade work? Sprays burning phosphorus will set almost anything on fire. Make sure you don't get caught in the backflash. 
Run down the flamethrower for me. Its name pretty much says it all. The Vulcan uses canisters of napalm for ammo and shoots out a spray of flaming gas. Just point and shoot to incinerate a whole crowd of enemies in close quarters. Altfire is a spray of unignited napalm that'll stick to any surface. You can set it off with primary fire or with one of your other weapons. But it's unstable enough that after a few seconds, it'll probably ignite anyway. What'll it be? So you can make like a flame wall or something with it. I love I love flamethrowers. I heard I heard a, it's not a joke, but I, I did hear a funny uh, antidote about a, the person who wanted to make a flame, like how the flamethrower came to be. It was like some guy who is like an arsonist. He's like, I want to set all of those people on fire, but I want to do it from over here. <laughs> how do I do it? Well, make a flamethrower. All right, I think that's all we have at the moment. Yep, everything else we know about. Catch you later. See you later. All right, everyone. Well, that I guess we're good for the mission. Let's go ahead and get down to it then. I remember a little bit of this mission. I think it was a shorter one. I think it's a two-stage one only. But I also think that this in the second half, I think we have to, like, flee out of an area or we die if we can't make it out, if I recall correctly. It's, it's been a while, but I remember that aspect of this mission. Alright, so let's go ahead and save the game. Alright, and let's go ahead and get started. Looking forward to this. It has been uh, ages. We'll touch down, we'll look at how much ammo we have, and then we're good to go. So those must be the spores, organisms spewing out parts of itself. I wonder if any of those reach another planet, if it will actually be able to colonize, um, colonize it, as it were. Take decades, centuries, however, for any of those asteroids possibly to reach another planet, if any of them get lucky enough to do so. Poor thing, being slaughtered on the surface of that planet. But then again, it might be hostile, like to native life when it actually touches down on a different planet that it can survive on, so maybe, it, maybe this is all for the best in the end. I also find it interesting that we're cloaking in. Let me get this straight. They're desperate to get this thing, so we're gonna blow it up? We're just gonna give it a nudge, pry it loose. And they don't think the creature will mind? I guess we'll find out. Then let's get it over with. This place gives me the creeps. Great, we were seen. We were seen. And the alarms are off. He's over here. There's no way we'll be able to get to him before his his armor uh, fades of its power. Well, so much for sneaking in and not engaging in combat. It, this is this has gone south e instantly. All right, Grace is on my one key. Sounds like a grenade. Yep, it, it 
the R grenade. Thanks for the grenade, the launcher friend. Oh, come on, Tim. Got a little better. Tiger Six, we're topside. I see them. Is that grenade launcher? Nice. You can use it. Really tough to hit those guys. Let's try using the rock to our advantage. Alarm at least has stopped. We took a little bit of life damage during it during the fight, but we're okay. Let's make sure all our weapons are reloaded. We'll take advantage of the fact that they have a life and shield restore system here as well. Alright, that's all we get. Let's take a look around at the area that we landed in. I love the little hairs growing out of the ground here. That's really a nice touch to remind you that this fight is, is covered by a single living organism. So I don't think we're going to find, like, again, any secrets lying around. It wouldn't make sense why there would be any. And this game doesn't place any any secrets in places that you should be exploring. Because, it, again, it doesn't make sense for there to be anything out there. So let's head over to where we saw these ghost warriors, where they came from. That is, like, some sort of missile launcher. Let's see if we can do, um, do something about it. It's a Gatling gun, it looks like. Let's head up there and try to see if we can disable it. Because they may use... So they might use that to keep me from heading down into that pit. That guy's got a rocket launcher.
That that boom is part of the music, I think. That's not that's not the actual grenade or something being thrown at me. Okay, not bad. The money facility itself has now been secured. Oh, maybe maybe, maybe it hasn't. Oh, you know what it just occurred to me? We need to we need to call the elevator back up here. What's going on up there? Report! Uh, temporary weapons malfunction, sir. The uh, femorite uh, transducer blue, but we uh, cross patched it with the trilithium ionizer. Who is this? <laughs> New recruit, sir. Just arrived. Intruder topside. Phoenix 2, move out! I'm not sure where Phoenix 2 is coming from. Oh, there's Phoenix 2, I suppose. One, the uh, the game died, so we have to do this over again. So let, let's let's give it a try. I figured it, it, it was fun enough to run around, and I, I recall this mission being rather short. Ooh, that was kind of lucky. <laughs> he, he missed all his shotgun shots. Nice, quite a bit of uh, Tiger Six, we're top side. Bring it on! Medic! That was a grenade launch uh grenade launch we took out, but then he dropped it. We took quite a bit of shield damage there. Oh no, I'm sorry, uh, we did not. I was, looking, I was looking at the wrong thing. I was, I was looking at my ammunition thinking that was my shield. All right, nice. Hey, we're doing a little better this time shield-wise. We're at full shield at the moment. We'll quick save. All right, so now we know we need... It looks like the game freezes when it tries to, to restart the music for the level. So hopefully I won't have to disable it, but we might. Only a little bit of shield was left there, unfortunately. Alright, so we have full ammunition for this assault rifle, so we should be using this for the time being. Let's just go ahead and just deal with that now. better last time. <laughs> I was just talking about how good we're doing, but no, I think we did we did a lot better last time. Alright, let's go up here with our rocket launcher. I'm not allowed to climb up there. This guy just vanished altogether, this corpse. Grace. 
Lots of ammunition there for our shotgun and our assault rifle. He's over there! <laughs> Was at least one more I thought down here? Was that correct? Nope. Okay. So that clears out everyone that was hiding around up here. We'll get ourselves healed up again. All right, let's let's call the people up here again. What's going on up there? Report. Uh, temporary weapons malfunction, sir. The uh, femurite the transducer blue, but we uh, cross patched it with the trilithium ionizer. Who is this? Who am I? Who are you? Unit and serial number, soldier. On the double. Intruder topside. Phoenix 2, move out. <laughs> can't. By the way, you can't skip the the game cutscenes when you land on the planet's surface. to work. They kill themselves. Oh, no, he didn't, Tim. No, he didn't at all. In fact, you're almost dead, Mr. 30 Life. All right, let's go. Let's double back and get healed at their health, uh, at their healthy store. Okay, and that this time the game didn't break. All right, so we're not looking as good as we had looked in the end. We have, I think, about the same amount of shields we had before the game crashed, but our life is significantly lower. Let's see if we can fix that. Okay, that's not an insurmountable amount to be low. I suppose we might as well go and heal at the other health thing as well. So we'll go back to... We'll go back up there really quick. Or not so really quick. Yeah, shame the, game, shame the game's kind of having some issues now. I It's probably because I'm actually recording it as opposed to just the game itself having problems because the game won't load. At, oh my goodness. That is not... That must be like some sort of digestive tract or something for the creature. I refuse to believe that that's water. Uh, because the game, for example, it won't load a stage for me until I stop the recording sometimes when I'm loading into the game. So it's there's something with how FPS and uh, FPS how fraps in the game um, work. I've also gotten it that, such that the game will crash, like um, just die with the error report if I start fraps at the same time that I start the game, which I don't normally do for games anyway. But I've noticed it occur here. All right, so we've we've cleared out all the ghost warriors now on the surface of the planet. They've been kind enough to bring the lift up here as well. So let's head on down there and say hello to them. I guess the Izanagi Corporation does not recognize the TCA's authority when it comes to their own... Oh my god, look at the inside of this. This looks amazing. I still remember those things being hostile.
that Tim. So let's try reloading then. If we... Well, that EMP guy really took you out. You need to use a different weapon, not your shotgun, to deal with both of them. I didn't even realize there was a second guy until I saw him uh, strafing to the right. So that, that sucks for me. One EMP grenade took out most of our shields. Good for them as well, defending their, their artifact from the single TCA guy that the Marines decided to, to send down here to the planet's surface. I remember dying quite frequently here many years ago. This was a really tough one to do. I still remember that if I, if I had less than 200 shields, I would just restart the mission over and over again. It's, it's all beginning to come back to me as I play. it looks down here. This is amazing. Oh, look at the flesh! They did a great job here. I think he actually isn't hostile. <laughs> I guess, I guess we'll just leave it alone at the moment. Oh, I thought that was a grenade being lobbed at us. Okay, someone else is there. He is. I do not want to get hit by one of those. I'm, I'm backing up. And we got hit by one of them. Wow. So I think this is. I, th I, I think we just had to reload. We we took another massive amount of damage from from that fight. We're down to 20 life. No, we we won't survive going further in this location. Let's try this again. How did this grenade even get me? I didn't even see the grenade being lobbed at me. Tough. Very very tough. Very tough stage. This one. I still remember the rest of the stages actually being right re really difficult. Even on normal to complete them. I like this though. This is a nice, a nice uh, memory to have when games on normal were very were still difficult uh, to play. These days, it seems like normal difficulty is actually easy difficulty on many of the games I've played. Prey, for example, even the hardest difficulty on Prey was way too easy. Let's quick save here so we don't have to redo the elevator shaft. Ah! Man down! I was not even close to that grenade.
I think we're dying again, everyone. Yep. We, we, we just, we don't have the life. If we get hit by one, a single one of those EMP grenades, we gotta restart. Because that lowers our shields way too much. And we just take too much damage then from all of the other attacks. Our shields get depleted pretty much immediately, especially when fighting more of those, um, more carbine guys. And that's the end of us. If I die one more time, I'm just going to cut the recording and... No, I guess we'll just, we'll just keep, we'll just keep doing this over and over and over again. I, I guess we can edit out all the loading screens, though, from here on out if we, if we, this ends up being a fail uh, collage, as it were. I think I did well that time, so we had to move up just enough to see the enemies and basically pick them off, um, one by one. Nope, we, we got hit. Fuck it. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. You know what? The game loads pretty much instantly when I when I cut the recording, so that's good to know as well. Okay, nice, dead. And we didn't hit a single grenade. I love, the, I love the little effects that grenades make as well. Very, very nice. So good. Their heavy weapons guy is dead. I, I see him over there. Let's see if we can use our pistol on this jerk. I've always liked missions where you hear like the enemy c communicating about how well you're doing. As you move through the level, um, one of the Star Fox 64 levels near the end it was one of my favorites where you're flying through an enemy fleet and you hear their radio chatter about how, how far you're getting and so on. I am recording, right? Yep. Okay, there's some life in store here. We'll grab we'll grab one of those. Let's quick save again. We'll go ahead and grab the shield, which we really need. And then we're working on what is this? Oh, this is some sort of light, yep, a light. And possibly a generator for it as well. It is getting darker in, in here as we proceed forward. Oh, sounds like someone just died. <laughs> I want to head directly down into the fog down. Oop, down here. I see him. Let's see if we can ambush him with our impressive rocket launcher. Since we've been using this as, as a sniper weapon. I see the box up there. I do like the rocket launcher as a one-hit kill, if we can get it. Sounds like someone else took some damage. Wouldn't mind getting up there. Get some 
energy. Nice. Back up to 271. Our life is looking good. Someone else saw us. There he is. You're gonna see a lot of a lot of saving. <laughs> the, game is, the game is very deadly, very deadly, and so uh, I need to make sure that I'm doing I'm, I'm saving all the time if I can. How much, by the way, fluid do I have for this? 120. Okay. Objective complete. F extract. Find a way. Find the artifact that, in the dig site. Extract the artifact from the Izanagi terraforming operation. There's a life restore system here and a shield system. All right, nice. Full life, full shields. What they're accomplishing is not being done up here. It's probably by the light. So let's head back downstairs and take a look and see what it was they were about to do. It sounded like they were going to detonate something to knock the artifact loose. Maybe the artifact is actually responsible for the existence of this creature. Um, you know, just it's well, this is what I said. It's responsible for for this thing existing. Looks like it has some sort of cyst around it, though. So that's prob that probably indicates that's not the case. All right, let's hit it. Actually, let's uh, let's do a hard save here. The music stopped. I ar I armed it. Do I have to do I have to shoot it? It's armed. Let's go upstairs. Maybe there's something above here that will actually let me now detonate the explosive. We're not leaving without that artifact. I suppose this means we also failed our, our initial ta mission, which was to not get discovered. But we were seen the moment we, we landed. Huh? Oh no. Geometry. Be right back. Okay, well, let's just let's. So I don't know how to detonate it. I, did, I literally just reloaded. So let's go ahead and get some distance from it. Will that de detonate it? Uh, at this point, my real life in. Um, Alright, detonator's been armed. So I've never worked with explosives, so I don't know how this works. <laughs> Thankfully, my my normal life does not uh, does not subjugate me to being around uh, explosives. Let's let's go ahead and back up a bit. The music stopped. It's, it strikes me that it should be detonating. If I start and stop the recording, will it detonate? No. And shooting it doesn't detonate it. Yeah, I was just talking about how there, I don't think there's any real bug glitches, how it's fraps causing all of them, but maybe I've been completely wrong about that, and they're actually and the games actually won't let me finish it. That would be a real shame to have recorded a few episodes and then not upload any of them because of this issue. Let's double back here and see if we left something behind. No, I don't see anything. So the explosives are armed. Now we just need a detonator to blow them up. We didn't find anything like that up above on the planet's surface, and I don't think we can leave either. Like, we, we can't just go back up there. We're down here now. We have to actually blow detonate this. Oh! 
Oh, it, okay, that was a save. Arm all three detonators. Oh, okay, okay. There, there we go. So there's more than one of them on this device. That was it. Aha! You guys were cleverly hiding them. We have to get, we have to run because now we're on a t we're on a timer. And I'm pretty sure we will die. Because the creature is not happy with what we just did. What the hell was that? Look out! I'm hit! I'm hit! Excuse me, guys. Sorry about this. Report in. Everyone topside. Now. Ah! Evacuate. Repeat. Evacuate. This thing's alive. Get the hell out of here. I'm unable to really hit them as I'm running, which is a shame. Yep, digestive fluid, everything's coming out of coming out of this thing. Well, we made it barely to the cliff. Get us the heck out of here. It sounds like there'll be hostiles waiting for us up above as well. To our ship! Go, 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 John! We got the artifact. Let's not let the ghost warriors kill us. Oh, I love the toxic clouds that have spawned up. Oh my god, it's awesome! I love, I love this. This is so, this is so great. They did a fantastic job on, on this planet. I'm making it a, a living organism that's now reacting to our us stealing the artifact. Actually, maybe it's maybe it's just reacting to the explosion. So it lets like I am infected. Look at that. that is awesome looking. It it knows that um it, it knows that it's been attacked internally. No hitchhikers. <laughs> he wanted to uh, to leave with us. Not today. That was a pretty good uh, music ending right there too. That boom, right when initial, right when loading comes up. Very good. Tim, you have to record, you have to compress this down and edit the game in two different sections because you have to check the video to make sure that when it crashed, it wrote it out correctly. Often when a game will crash and I don't remember it occurred, if I just try to take the crashed part of the video and, or how long, how long I recorded it up until the crash part or until I cut, I cut the recording, what will happen is that the game's audio will desync and it's going to be really annoying. So I have to go and find which video part was the one that I, that crashed, I think it was part three.
Yeah, but that was fun. Yeah, I really like the look of the of the the fluid being injected, the gas on the planet's surface. What a great theme for for that area. I thought it was two areas, by the way. I thought it was one area down inside the creature and another up on the planet's surface. And maybe actually you can survive down in the in the creature. Maybe it's not an auto kill, which is what I thought it was. Yeah, I thought it was an auto kill if you didn't make it out in time. But maybe what happens is there's just there's so much. So many of the plants, uh, the creature's defensive organisms spawn that you eventually just run out of ammunition. It looks like it wasn't going to stop spewing those little spores, whatever they were. And I need to cut the recording or it's not going to load into the ship. The Izanagi are not at all happy with your incursion on Asheron. They are massing their forces on Severnaya. The fleet on Severnaya draws its power from energy generated by the Minkowski Dam. Pardoning me, but is not dam one of the forbidden words? Later, Naban. Go on, Ida. A squad of marines made a commando raid to blow the dam, but the mission went bad and they're stranded. We know there are at least two of them alive down there, and our orders are to recover them. Got it. I'm on the way. All right, everyone, so I'm going to stop this episode here, and I will see you all in the next one, where I guess we'll start the next mission. All right, so I will see you guys then. Thank you for watching this one, and take care, everyone.